Good morning, Mr. Kelsey. It is a bright, beautiful day, Collierville Square, and uh, I've just confirmed from you in our conversation that I'm on the right building. I'm over Hewlett and Dunn. Uh, this was uh, coated. It looks like, boy, and these days coatings, uh, it looks like it could be over 20 years old. Somebody has gone over the previous roofing with a coating. Coatings have certainly improved. Now we use acrylics and, and uh, urethanes and silicones, and th that doesn't seem to be the case over here. You do have a repair right there. This is in the corner. Somebody at least at one time suspected that is the problem. Over here, where it's bubbling up, look, I'm gonna put my foot, look. See, I mean, it's just, it's just given up. I mean, you can kind of see right there that just, just walking on it uh, is, is tearing it up. I mean, it's all kind of bubbled. Uh, a repair, recent repair over here. Uh, also in the wall, somebody has taken the entire wall there. <laughs> Excuse me. All the way down and, and and just tarred it which of course you know you never really recommend tar certainly like that tar is done what it's supposed to it's given up right there and you can actually see down in the roof so water is certainly getting underneath your roof right there I promise you um, all along this wall right here where it would normally be flashed properly it's it is just given up and water is getting in this crease you can see all the way down I mean this is here's the worst of it right here I mean that's just tar look at that I mean, that's, that's not good. I don't want to make it worse for you. So that's this building. Now, as we head on over to the other building, I can certainly see why this is your biggest problem. This has been the victim, if you will, of many years of repair. This has also started with a coating. Same problem with the cracking on the parapet wall because it's just tar. It's a 50 gallon bucket of tar is, is what was used here and it's completely done what it's supposed to do, which is give up after a couple of years. Recent repair right there. Somebody suspected that all along the wall. One of the biggest problems, you see, oh, look at this, right here, right there. I mean, that here, here you go. I mean, that's, this is, this is your coating, which is just gone. Uh, these days they, they use a silicone product that wouldn't give up like that because it stretches. Over here, your air conditioner, boy I'd be shocked if your air conditioner wasn't the source of your problem. I mean look at right there. I mean, put my finger right down in that. That's the air conditioner. These, if your roof is leaking, the first thing I look for is uh, the air conditioner, these boots right here, which obviously that's been tarred, a patch right here. and. And then when we get to the very bottom of the roof, somebody has decided to only replace the roll roofing, but they didn't even go up the sides. Normally, if I was doing this, I'd have taken it right up to the sides of there because now somebody had to come in and patch that. So anyway, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. On this side of the roof, I'll give you a shot going up the roof where you can kind of see that this one, the second bay in by the, by the big wall is obviously got to be dealt with. So I'm going to climb down. I'm going to send you this video and we could talk about options.